tourism destinations in Belize, immediately San Pedro and Burgers Key or Placencia would come to mind, but the local travel industry extends to other destinations. There's cruise and overnight tourism, and there is also tourism in respect of culture, the environment, and even food or cuisine. One location that offers that diverse, one-of-a-kind experience is Hopkins. The village on the central coast of southern Belize is predominantly home to the Garinagu and is a unique cultural destination with a population of approximately 1,500 people. But it would seem that Hopkins is readily becoming a hot commodity within the industry as investors have taken keen interest in the quaint village. In 2000, uh, we opened with, uh, with 12 rooms. And then lit, bit by bit, each year, we just keep making it better and improving it. And now we're up to 25 rooms today and uh, doubled the size of our, our great house, uh, which we're celebrating today at our, at our opening you know, party of our 10,000 foot, foot great house. And so it's just been a very steady progress of uh, growing, growing the, the business. Um, no. from that town. Hamanasi, right? It has been known as an eco-destination. They have won different awards from TripAdvisor and then other reputable organizations. And we have seen that Hamanasi ever since have catered to high-class, high-end tourists. And uh, what they are doing now in the expansion it is because they have the market now. But Belize overall, Belize overall, has so many products to offer. Hamanasi Adventure and Dive Resort is one of several resorts in the village. Aside from its newly renovated guest house, it offers luxury suites and tree houses, a getaway for couples and the family. The resort is renowned internationally for its sea adventure tours to the atolls in Belize. Its acres of stunning beach and coastal littoral forests, as well as its award-winning customer service brand. Hamanasi is a very unique resort. Um, it's, we've been in operation for 15 years. We, what sets us apart is we give amazing customer service. We're very customer service um, orientated. Um, we're a romantic destination. We have beach and we have jungle. Hamanasi offers both marine tours and inland tours. When it comes to the marine tours, we do local diving to the Saltwater Key Marine Reserve, and we also offer dive trips within the Saltwater Key Marine Reserve. Uh, also, the unique location of Hamanasi offers the three atolls when it comes to diving and snorkeling. That's Turnif Reef Atoll, Lighthouse Reef Atoll, where the famous Blue Hole is, and our popular atoll trip is to Clover's Reef Atoll. Uh, seasonally, we offer trips to the Whale Shark Zone, which is protected by sea in Placentia. Um, we also offer tours when it comes to inland to all Mayan sites. Our famous zip landing tour that is done by Bokowina. And we also do kayaking, um, Jaguar Reserve, and uh, ATM, which is, our, which is our most popular specialty tour offered by Hamanasi. Simply put, tourism is the lifeline of Hopkins. Currently over 100 locals are employed by Hamanasi from the surrounding communities of Hopkins, Silkgrass, and Maya Center. Most have been working with the resort for over five years. I've been here since the beginning. Um, I started as a normal housekeeper, then I went to housekeeping supervisor, then I went to manager. Um, it's been very challenging, but it's great um, with all the good staff and the good managers here and all the training we have been getting. It's been good, real good. The type of tourist that comes to Belize and comes here in particular Part of their experience that they appreciate is the local people. There's no doubt about it. And so something as simple as going to the village of Hopkins and talking to the local people there or seeing a local drumming uh, you know, presentation, um, that's a big part of their vacation experience. 
And one thing we do that's pretty unique here is we tell our staff that even if you're raking the beach, if a customer or a guest wants to talk, talk to them because they want to know you or know about you and your culture and your background. For some time now, the Caribbean has been looking at cuisine as a tourism product, essentially making cultural food gourmet. The village is home to 2012's Chef of the Year, Marcel Nunes, who has been working as head chef at Hamanasi for 15 years. With the launch of the new Singanga restaurant at the resort, Chef Nunes spoke of reinventing food while keeping the cultural heritage alive. My cooking style, I would say, um, is a bit of a local and international cuisine twist like. Usually we do the local food and then we present it in a way that it doesn't look really local. It will be the same ingredients, the same taste, the same flavor, but it's usually the way that we plate it and present it. The launch of the newly refurbished guest house and Singanga restaurant was held over the weekend with various performances from the Lirahuna Satuya group and the Omalewa Osain project. A tour of its new rooftop deck would top off the event as lanterns were released into the sunset. Dwayne Moody for News 5.